नमस्ते नमस्कार वेलकम टू लेवल वन आर्चरी कोचेस वर्कशॉप ट्रेनिंग एग्जामिनेशन एंड सर्टिफिकेशन ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बाय आर्चरी एसोसिएशन ऑफ इंडिया ए ए आई कोचेस कमिटी एंड सपोर्टेड बाय ओ जी क्यू ओलंपिक गोल्ड क्वेस्ट द मोस्ट एक्सक्लूसिव एक्सपेंसिव डिटेल्ड हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग assessment and certification program in india in this lecture we will give you an introduction to tuning competitive recurve bows well when you come to the offline workshop we will be giving you a hands on training on how to start your first class in archery the motivational introductions part of a bow and arrow the four ways of stringing a bow what draw length and bow poundage is all about and the 18 different steps of a short sequence stance in address knocking hooking holding pre setting mind setting setting up raising pre drawing drawing anchoring holding aiming expansion releasing follow through downing and recuperating we will also be learning about exercises pascal call me draw routines mind coaching shooting in sync with your bio rhythm and uh, pre performance routines so we will skip all this and straight go to tuning a competitive bow most of you must be coaches of various levels in the state so let's assume you all have basic knowledge on what i spoke about in this lecture we will deal about an introduction to tuning competitive recurve bows in this session you will know about five topics number 1 importance of shooting technique in tuning a bow number 2 installation of accessories or assembling the bow number 3 types of risers number 4 forces acting on arrows and number 5 foc of front of center balance there is no doubt that the bow you choose is an important consideration but even more important than the bow are the arrows you choose in the early days of competitive archery it was not uncommon for an archer to pay a month's income for a, a dozen top quality arrows remember it is not the bow scoring the points in the target it is your arrow shafts successful bow tuning and accurate shooting can only be achieved by using arrow shafts that are properly spined to your bow and the ones that are consistent in the spine weight and straightness follow the many available spine charts or computer program on the market and online to select the arrow size recommended for your draw length and bow poundage remember to read all of the information provided on the proper use of the chart to the arrow charts the true verification that you have selected the correct spine will be determined only during the tuning process problems caused by improper spined arrow shafts will become evident only during tuning before tuning be sure that all arrows are straight properly fleshed and are perfectly aligned in knocks now let's start with shooting technique your shooting technique can uh, also have a large influence over the dynamic spine value of your arrow two archers shooting the exact same bow same poundage and the same arrow length may not necessarily shoot the same arrow size usually the archer who has better line will shoot a lighter weaker spined arrow than an archer who has poor skeletal alignment this is because the archer with good alignment creates less side movement of the string on release resulting in less column loading of the arrow shaft now let's see installation of all accessories before starting the bow tuning process be sure to install every piece of equipment on your bow that you intend to use during shooting this includes the correct bow string and all attachments to the bow string bow sight stabilizers arrow rest cushion plunger counterweights etc choose all personal items as well like your your finger tab chest protector and anything else you use when shooting for example simply changing a stabilizer can have an enormous effect on the tuning of your bow any adjustments made to the bow or changes in bow components can and usually will affect the tune once the equipment is fully assembled the next phase in the process of achieving well tuned equipment is good preliminary setup if the initial setup is done properly the tuning process can be accomplished with little effort by following the bow setup guidelines in the initial preparation of your equipment 
you can eliminate most or all of the possible tuning problems that can make the process time consuming and unsuccessful. Adjustments made to the bow, changes in bow components or alterations in shooting form can affect the tune of your equipment. Remember, you and your equipment share a unique relationship and are totally integrated. Any change to either will produce varying results. During the tuning process, it is vitally important that you change only one variable at a time. Only one variable. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult to determine what adjustments cost any grouping changes. If after trying all of the tuning adjustments outlined in this uh, lecture, your arrows still do not fly through, it may be necessary to change your arrow size to a, to a stiffer, a weaker shaft and retune. Arrows in flight spin, vibrate and oscillate in the horizontal plane and can oscillate in the vertical plane with a misplaced knocking point. Proper bow setup and tuning will help minimize the forces on the arrow and help the archer to achieve optimum performance. Unfortunately, there are many theories on arrow flight and vigorous mathematical treatment of these is a bit hard for most non-engineers to understand. The bottom line though is that all archers can recognize the arrow flight problems and make appropriate corrections. Now let's see the types of risers. In this section, in the lecture on recurve bow tuning, it will be necessary to discuss a number of different types of risers since the available adjustment features differ in each case. The types of risers are 1. Simple wooden self or takedown bows. Next, metal risers with cushion plungers but no weight adjustments capability. Next, metal risers with cushion plungers and weight adjustment but no limb pocket adjustment capability. Next, Olympic recurve risers. They are weight adjustable, have cushion plunger and limb alignment capability. Now let's check out uh, forces acting on the arrow. For the purpose of simplicity, all discussions from this point on will be made in reference to a right-handed archer shooting a right-handed bow. If the archer is shooting a left-handed bow, the same comments apply, but in reverse. As the archer releases the arrow, the string moves horizontally to the left facing the target, moving the knock to the left as the string starts to move forward, moving the knock end of the arrow, the point end resists this move and this results in the arrow bending towards the bow. When the arrow completes this initial bend, the string and knock move back towards the center and then to the right of the center. At this moment, the front section of the arrow pushes against the side window face or a cushion plunger if fitted. All of this action occurs in a fraction of a second in the first several inches of forward travel of the arrow. In the next horizontal bending sequence, as the arrow leaves the bow, face and the arrow rest the arrow in a nearly free mode, only being held by the bow string during the second half cycle. At the end of this complete cycle, bending in towards, then bending away from the bow, the arrow knock disengages from the bow string, sending the arrow on its way to the target. These actions of the arrow are termed as archer's paradox and a cause of arrow vibration and arrow horizontal oscillation. Now, what is the front of center balance, FOC? Arrows fly more accurately and with more stability if they are front heavy. This is particularly true of shooting in the wind. The term used to describe the location of the arrow's balance point is FOC. It is defined as how far the balance point is forward on the arrow's midpoint and is expressed as a percentage of total arrow length. FOC is equal to L by 2 B by L into 100, where L is the arrow length, B is the strength, uh, the length from balance point to front of arrow. For outdoor shooting, many archers assemble the arrows with quite a high front of center balance point. Though this depends on the type of arrows being assembled. The length of arrow and the poundage speed of the bow Consideration must be given to acquiring a good sight mark at the longest distance being shot. For indoor shooting, a high front of center balance uh, may be uh, used, but uh, be aware that going too high may be detrimental to the performance required. Well, so much for this session. In this session, we discussed 
importance of shooting technique and tuning a bow, installation of accessories or assembling the bow, types of risers, forces acting on arrows, FOC of front of center balance. Now let's check out the 10 questions that you need to answer. I already sent you in the morning. Number one, what has a big influence on the dynamic spine value of an arrow? Number two, an archer will, with poor skeletal alignment will shoot a lighter or a heavier arrow. Question number three, a misplaced knocking point causes the arrow to oscillate horizontally or vertically. Number four, explain archer's paradox. Number five, arrows are more stable in flight if the front is light or heavy. Number six, what does the acronym FOC mean? Number seven, explain two kinds of risers. Number eight, what are the accessories you must install in a recurve bow before starting the tuning process? Number nine, why does the arrow bend towards the bow during release? And the last number 10, will changing the stabilizer affect the tuning of your bow? Catch you soon with the next part of recurve bow tuning. Since the lecture is loaded with information, it will not get into your head easily. If it does, you must be a genius. Please listen to the lecture over and over again in your headphones. This will truly help you understand what I say. Keep repeating till you are thorough with it. Kitne baar suneng, utna mar apko chai hoga. Till you have completely grasped it, listen. Find the answers to the 10 questions and please send them to me on direct message. WhatsApp to me on number 98416-18386. The common mission of all of us is the same. To make India, our motherland, Hindustan, the ultimate in archery. Let's join hands towards this goal and chant Om, Om, Om. Olympic medal, Olympic medal, nothing but the Olympic medal in archery. Jai Hind, Vande Madaram. Bye-bye. God bless you. Catch you soon.